Yeah, yeah, it's your boy champ and Gabe and Six want to talk about voodoo. What? The champ is here! The champ is here! Yeah, what's going on, guys? It's your boy champ and this is the Champ is Here show. What's up, guys? This is Six. What's up? And it's your boy, Mr. Long Champ here, co-hosting. Co-hosting. So tonight... We're gonna go a little deep. We're gonna go in a realm that we haven't gone before. A little taboo. A little no mystical. pun intended. No pun intended. You know, it's gonna be a little. So we're gonna talk about, I guess, magic, voodoo, mysticism, witchcraft. You know what I'm saying? That's manifestation. Manifestation. That's manifestation. That's what Gabe wants oh. to call it. <laughs> shout out. Yeah. I also want to give a quick shout out to the audience early, you know what I mean? Yo, Appreciate you guys. Shout out to the audience. So yeah, this and is part. this is definitely all Gabe's idea, but it's a dope idea, I think. I agree. I agree. And I know six is hype right now. Can I go grab my tarot cards? Anybody needs a reading? Let's <laughs> <laughs> go wait to the end. Okay. <laughs> so you know, so the thing is, I think that voodoo and all these things, they get a bad rep because of the crusades and all of that stuff, you know, bringing in other different religions. When if you really think about it and you really do your research, it's actually the same thing, like everything else. You know what I'm saying to you? Catholics pray the saints to talk to God and, you know, people of the forest, they talk to the elements, they talk to spirits because they feel that there is a, a gap between them and God. So they need those elements to go in and send a message to God. Because some, some will call it like a medium. Mm. Correct. You know, we, Christianity got it, it's Jesus. Um, Muslims had got it. They have Muhammad. That's their medium. You know what I mean? It's basically the same thing. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So, so yeah, when you dive deep into it, and I was thinking about it today, you know, that's again, consciousness. I had a discussion, right? I had a discussion with, um, I know I'm like, I'm getting close to the screen. Tell us, tell us. <laughs> right? I'm like, yes. guys. You're going to get in the inside scoop. Yes. So I had a talk with, you know, Sati's sister, you know, and basically we were talking about, you know, religion. Now, I didn't want to get too deep because religious folk, you know, they get, they go through something called cognitive dissonance. Mm-hmm. Where, you know, when you have an idea that doesn't coincide or is a is in conflict of what you have in your own mind or what your own beliefs are, and it causes discomfort, even though that person is bringing you facts, your mind is going to still justify and fight what that person is saying to maintain mm -hmm. what you believe. Yeah. Some to that effect. Cognitive dissonance doesn't have to just be religious. Yeah. It could be lifestyle. It could be in many different topics. It could be anything. Anything that you, it, something that can't have a direct conflict for what you believe in, your core yeah. beliefs. So, anyway, we were talking and I was like, yo, the moon, the sun, the stars, it's all astrologies in the book of Genesis. It says it right in the first few chapters. So she's like, no, you know, Moses. When he came through and he threw down his staff, it turned into a serpent. So I was like, well, you don't think to the Egyptians that was magic? Like when Moses threw his staff down, you, did you hear the story? Did you hear the story? When yes, he, yes. He the threw Moses, the staff down and it turned into a, into a, a serpent. Yeah. And then that his, his serpent ate their serpents. They both threw, they both had snakes yes. on the floor. Yes. That's voodoo. Uh oh. oh. Absolutely. <laughs> show me okay. lines and I'll show you yours. Let's see who's got a bigger snake. 
Hello. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically what happened. I mean, yeah, basically that is high it. level, high level perspective. <laughs> and he turned his arm into leprosy and all of that, and then he turned it back. Like to the untrained eye, if you don't know what that is, that's whoa, magic. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying to you? So again, it's all the same thing, guys. I really, I really want you guys mm -hmm. to believe it. I mean, I don't want you to believe it. I want you to do your research, but I, I want them to understand because a lot of people they don't believe in magic. They don't believe in like mystic. They don't believe in like all this stuff that we're currently touching upon. But if you are a praying person and you believe in miracles, you are basically taking part in everything because okay. you are praying to get something that you don't even know how it's going to happen or how it's going to take place. You have no clue, but it's going to happen one way or another because you believe. That's basically what happens when you are mystic or you are praying, you are looking for something that is magical. Do you believe in magic? You know. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I've heard stories. My my dad has told me stories. He said one time when he was back in Haiti, he said that him and his friends were throwing rocks at this bat or something like that. And they hit the bat. It was a bat or a bird or something like that, but I believe it was a bat. Mm -hmm. He said the next day there was this guy walking with a limp. And he said, yo, one of y'all heard that story. I think he had told you that story. Yeah. One of y'all hit me with the rock. I was like, get out yes. of here. Yes. So he, he so you're telling me people can metamorphose shape or shape yeah. shift into animals. Yeah. So we watched then we watched like some video about some woman that had like a spell that was cast on her, and then she was like, like she had she was like a, acting like a chicken, and then like her arms were like deformed. And then when the spell was like broken, her arms like literally formed, deformed back into normal arms or something like that. No, she wasn't, she was a chicken. Her arm was just deformed and the dude was just doing something like yeah. with water, splashing water. Her arm was just stretching out. Yeah. Like, okay. You know, kind of okay. Yeah. Well, listen, when Haiti got their independence in 1804, think about it, they were, they defeated the French, the Dutch, the Spanish, and then the French for the second time with Napoleon, who was actually one of the world's best conquerors, you know, best strategists and best fighters. And that little small island of Haiti, that they defeated them, what they said was, you know, with very minimal, you know, guerrilla warfare with tactics and voodoo. And they like, you know, well, we out of here. You know what I'm saying to you? So it's kind of scary, I guess, to someone who don't understand. Yeah. But they really believed in magic. They really believed in it. You know, I don't necessarily know the inner workings of it. Yeah. But I do believe that it is something that is powerful. Right. I believe that a lot of it is connected. I was going to say earlier, like, we condition our mind a certain way. And usually we adapt that through our lineage and like our parents and stuff like that. So for Sati's sister, that's the way her brain is conditioned. And then she becomes, she has like this cognitive dissonance because her brain already is conditioned to think and be a certain way, which actually is a, a, a form of it's like a defense mechanism. So her brain is telling her, this is not a safe place for you to think this way. So continue to believe what you've already learned. So that way that you don't feel unsafe and you don't, you don't expand and open your mind. Not that is a wrong way of thinking. She's doing the same exact things by praying, et cetera, as anybody else would do that tries to be mystical or magical or tries to actually, um, you know, have the power of attraction who believes in the power of attraction and the universe and things like that. Correct. So go ahead, Gabe. 
No, no, no. That's the that finish your part because I was I was gonna kind of almost change it up a little bit. What I'm saying, like, like I believe in it. I believe that it has their abilities. I believe it's just another religion, like anything else. However, I just feel a little nervous bringing my kids around it. If that makes sense. Yeah, no, definitely. <laughs> you know what I'm saying to you. Yeah. Like I don't. I remember. Um, you know, I went to go check my um my biological pops just to get to know him. You know what I'm saying to you. After a while, um, you know, I learned enough about him that I didn't have to go back. But it was just something that just because he know he does he does this. You know, tarot card readings, whatever, whatever. I believe, you know. Yeah, but there was just something that just made me feel funny. Yeah. I, I can't bring my kids around this guy. It makes me feel nervous. And I don't really know him like that. You know what right. I mean? You know, I was raised by my step pops who, you know, is really my real my real dad anyway. Mm -hmm. But um, it was just something that was just off for me even though I embrace it as something that I'm just aware of, that it exists, and it's just something that's part of our culture. Mm -hmm. Caribbean, African, Afro-Hispanic culture, you know what I'm saying to you? It's something that it's a part of. So, and then, you know, there's, there's the Indians have it, the Asians, they all, every, every culture has it. So, but- that's true. Again, it's a, it's kind of like, not scary, but you know, I don't know, I don't know. But do you do you, do you know a little bit more about it, six? Like, do you? So, when I this is a funny story. When I was in like eighth grade, um, I used to pretend that I was a palm reader. <laughs> Pretended. And I used to play jokes on people and I used to be like, come, let me read your poem. And I would tell them things. And they used to be like, oh my God, that is so true. But it's crazy <laughs> because I didn't know what I was saying, but I'm to to back to like back that up, I will say my grandmother from my father's side, she had like a whole altar. She was, I wouldn't say she was religious but she prayed to like different saints and things like that and I mean I can I can go on and elaborate on so many different stories of my childhood where I predicted so many things so I would say that a lot of people are born with a certain gift where whether it's like not predicting precisely something but like you just get that feeling it's like a gut feeling and, and I feel like a lot of us are very psychic and very intuitive and it's a generational thing. And like, if you look at your like birth chart, you'll see that there are certain planets that are generationally aligned with certain people. So it could be like a generational thing. Some of us tap into it, some of us don't. But I can tell you that I've always been attracted to that type of thing, to those type of things. And I, I got my tarot cards and I read them. Do I know exactly what each of them mean? Not quite, but I interpret it based upon like my research and what I know. So it, it, it's a lot. I will say that, you know, all of us, I feel like we have a gift. Um, some of us choose to tap into it. Some of us choose to like, no, there's no way this could happen, but you have to keep an open mind. And I will say that I've been reading like this book, um, Outwitting the Devil. I'm pretty sure like you both read it. And a lot of it is, I mean, I'm up to chapter nine, but a lot of what I like the most about it is like we've all been given the gift of thinking for ourselves and a lot of people choose not to use it. So you choose to think what everybody else is telling you to think. But if we choose to think for ourselves and follow our intuition, like we'll be way better off as a, as a race because mm -hmm. that's like our gift. Let me, I'll tell you another story real quick. Yeah. yeah. I mean, back when I was like a terrible person. Make it real quick. <laughs> Back when I was like, you know, pure stuff, <laughs> whatever, whatever, you know, womanizer, stuff like that. My, at the time before, you know, my ex-wife, you know, whatever, she had an ability, like she could 
dream and see things and stuff. Right. Like you know what I'm saying to you? So every time, like I cheated, she oh, knew. Yeah. Like, she just knew. Intuition. Like, how, do, how do you know that? I was tight. I was <laughs> tight. Like I could go on the streak like a good three, four months, nothing's happening. She doesn't say anything, but the minute it happens, I remember one time I brought this, um, also I brought this, like this artifact I, I, I bought, I bought from the, um, in the city. I was like, you know, tapping into the African culture. She was like, no, don't, don't bring this in the house. I brought it in the house. And she said that there's people that pray and do things to it and they bring you buy it and then the spirit comes into your house and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I get it. It's consciousness. Everything is consciousness and everything. Right. The same way. Vibration. Yeah, the same way when you wear a suit or you wear business clothing, it makes you feel a certain way. I remember when I used to rock my do-rag and slouch my jeans, I felt a different type of power when I walked into the street, like no one can say nothing to me. So I really do believe that clothes do make the man to a certain degree. Right. You know what I mean? So yes, you know, Six, I do, you know, I do agree with you that people have certain abilities. I believe my ability is seeing the future. I can see things play out you know what I mean? I I'm, I can see when you're not feeling, you know, when you're hiding something, when you're lying, I can just, I can just see it just off your body language. Like my eyes are really sharp. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So I think that everybody has a certain ability that you right. can tap into, you know, some people can feel it. Some people can see it. Some people can read you, read your mind kind of in a certain way. So yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, definitely. A lot of people have abilities. So real quick, guys, because uh, I know we're kind of uh, running yep. low on time. I know uh, we, I was the one who brought up <laughs> that whole idea of the episode. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I've been yeah. trying to get a couple words in, which I appreciate you guys because that definitely brought a whole <laughs> lot of value to the Oops. whole topic. Yeah, <laughs> but um, no, it, it, that's what's up. That's, that's totally okay. No, because I what made me just want to bring it up in the first place it was because I was reading this book as well, um, the power of your subconscious mind, and everything you guys are saying basically goes exactly to what the book is definitely saying as far as like what the power of the subconscious mind really brings. Because basically, whatever you believe is what is going to be your reality. So, Kev, you talking about you know. She said, whatever about, you know, you bringing this in the crib as consciousness, whatever the case may be, this is what it's going to bring. This is what she's going to believe. This is what's going to happen. And Henry Ford said it, um, you know, whatever you think, you know, whatever you think, you know, whether you think you can or you think you can't, either way, you're right. So whatever right. you believe is going to happen. And so like, you know, here on the championship show, we always talk about success and being a champion. And the things that it takes to become a champion. And one of the things is definitely manifestation as far as how you're going to manifest things, write things down. And if you believe whatever you write down, I'm going to get this done, you're going to get it done. And people don't understand that in the English language, because we talked about that just a little bit last week, six, about how the English language can be a little bit confusing. Yeah. The word, the word spelling itself tells you right there that when you speak you can cast spells just by speaking yeah. whatever it is if, as long as you're saying this and you believe it which is why the people who are most successful in life are the people that speak about success successful things like i'm going to do this and they go out and do it and say i'm going to be this person and they go out and do that because that's what they believe so yeah. what, whatever you believe that's the reality you're going to create not to get too deep into that, but that was it. <laughs> you believe it, you can achieve it, right? You believe yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And not, gonna... not, not to mention, she thought that the spirit was raping her. Like, what? The, the statue that you brought home? Yeah, it was like, it was a, I brought like a mask. And she and said, like, 
the, the thing came and fondled her and stuff like that. And it, I've heard about things like that. I've heard about tight. women feeling that. And I and, 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 and I and honestly, I believe her. I believe her because I've heard this before and you can't discredit someone for feeling a certain way. Like when somebody feels a certain way, I feel like it's it's their feelings. You can't say, no, you don't feel that way. So I believe her. But I wanted to touch back on you, Gabe, um, about everything you just spoke. And I want to say, like, didn't I give you a tarot card reading before? <laughs> yes, you I did. did, right? And it was on point. It, it was, was on pretty, point. it was pretty on point. <laughs> yeah. And I want to say, like, for anybody who ever gets like any readings or anything like that, like people are scared sometimes, but you have the good thing about getting a tarot card reading is you have 100 percent control as to what happens to your life from that point forward. So if you don't like what you heard, you can be like, you know what? I can avoid all this by doing something that's going to counter fit that you know 100%. action so you can 100%. absolutely change your future and that's what i like about getting a card reading or like you know the stars and astrology because you have 100 percent control from that point forward if you don't want to know that's cool but once you know and you understand that you are in control of your future you will be 100 percent better off at receiving that information I thought you were going to say you can change your future by just shuffling the deck or something. <laughs> no. I mean, once you, you know like the card card uh, uh, says, oh, card card says over again. No. Oh, you this person is going to come into your life and they're going to change your whole life by, you know, doing this or whatever. I'm like, okay, which person is this? Hmm, I'm going to look out for X, Y, and C's type of sign, signs because I don't want this person to come to my life and flip my life upside down in a bad way so when that person comes into your life you're like i know who you are you were in my reading and you're not about to do what you think you're about to do because i'm onto you already that's that's how i feel about tarot card readings or you know anything that's like no i'm yeah. saying like you could you could put a card and this is yeah. your be broke like what i don't like that reading and then you just threw the cards and then, oh no oh oh this card <laughs> says you're gonna be rich so you can, switch <laughs> so you can like switch it I feel you. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> not quite, but you got the right idea. Not quite. That was a... there's always like, it's not yeah. always just like a surface of it. Like, it's not like you're going to be poor. You're going to be rich. You're going to be broke. You're going to be single. You're going to be married. Like, that's not how the cards work. <laughs> no, I know. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, you could put the card down, mm -hmm. not like it, reshuffle it, and another card come out. That's, you know what I'm saying? But you can do clarification cards at that point, which I don't have. I don't have yet. I'm going to get some, but you can do like a clarification card because like a card will show you something and then you do a clarification card and the clarification card will like dive deeper into like what it means. Nice, nice, nice. All right, guys. Appreciate yeah, it. Appreciate this was fun. It. Dope topic, Gabe. <laughs> that was a dope topic, Gabe. Good job. You know what I'm saying? Pushing the envelope. You know what I mean? So um, any shout outs? Yeah, shout out to um on my six, shout out to uh Lee Bulldogs, um, shout out to Matt Sky Trucking, shout out to myself, six series. Go check out my Instagram. Oh, and I do have a question. Have you ever had a tarot card reading? Have you ever like, are you a tarot card reader? Do you like this stuff about like predicting the future? Do you look at your horoscope? Like, what is that vibe like for you? And you know, how do you utilize it? Because I feel like it's a tool, it's not an end to something it's a tool you, you you need to utilize that in order to get to like a next level so let us know in the comments you definitely are interested you know i'm interested yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> um a, definitely a quick shout out to uh the audience appreciate you guys for checking in all our spotify youtube itunes listeners everybody um and definitely big shout out to our patrons we are now on patreon um also a quick shout out to long champ training um and uh bt group and uh kev all right yeah 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 so big shout out to brooklyn cove yaka big boats we got them boats on the water Frank. um also big shout out to moving keys because we are moving keys car keys house keys all kind of keys not the keys some of y'all thinking about we're not moving those keys <laughs> not anymore 
<laughs> and last but not least, last but not least, big shout out to Long Champ Success because success is a mindset. Success is something that you attract, not something you pursue. So let's get it. And please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Yeah.